Now this drug, interestingly, has a very long half-life. And it has a half-life in and of itself of two, three, four days. And then it has an active metabolite that will actually go all the way out to about three weeks. So a couple things you want to think about with this drug. When you get up to the dose that you want, the side effects might not manifest for several weeks. Right? I used to run into this with aripiprazole, and it used to drive me crazy. Right? I started patients on five milligrams right, to, as an adjunct for depression, and it worked really, really well. And I'm treating in the inpatient environment, so within that 10 days that they promised me, they're feeling a lot better, and they get discharged, and they're on their five milligrams of aripiprazole, and their antidepressant drug, and they're doing wonderful, and we're all happy and slapping each other on the back. And then three to four weeks later, I'd talk to my colleague that picked them up as an outpatient, and they'd say, he walked into my office yesterday, EPS to beat the band. He can't tolerate that area of piperazole, so we quit it. <laughs> like, okay. Like, why would that happen? Right? He tolerated the drug wonderfully for three, four, five days. You know, just like when you're at the M&M rounds and someone says, he was fine when I saw him last. <laughs> <laughs> we always do that to each other. So I couldn't figure it out for the longest time and then realized that the half-life of aripiprazole is days, right, almost close to a week. How many half-lives does it take for a drug to reach its stable serum level? Five, thank you. So five half-lives. So a drug that has about a day half-life, right, like lithium, it's going to be five days before what's going in your mouth is actually reflected by what's in your blood. So what if a drug has four, five, six days half-life? you're not really going to see that blood level until it's maybe five weeks out. So we don't necessarily test these blood levels, but I realized this patient may not have had side effects on two milligrams of aripiprazole, and by the time they left my tender care, their blood level was kind of consistent with like two. And then three to four weeks later, it's walking up and walking up, and now they start having side effects because they hit that magical line and they can't tolerate it. And then people freaked out and they stopped the drug, which was really sad. So I actually started giving people five milligrams with aripiprazole, getting them to efficacy, and then empirically dropping the dose. And I wasn't waiting for them to walk all the way up. And well, it seemed to work. I mean, it's impossible to prove a negative, right? So I'm here guarding against elephants. You see any elephants around here? <laughs> exactly. So it's a little bit hard to prove that what I was doing was the right thing, but I didn't see any more complaints. So that was kind of nice. So think about that with a drug like cariprazine with this long, long half-life. 